Hi everybody, so today I wanted to go over uh, white balance and how your camera uses white balance to get proper color in your images and also how you can set a custom white balance. So just to quickly go over what white balance is, it's essentially color temperature in your images. I remember when I was first starting out with uh, taking photos, I would have my camera set to auto white balance and which for the most part auto white balance, what I found is in the daytime, it, it works perfectly fine. Um, but when, when I would start having problems is when I would shoot indoors where you have regular incandescent light bulbs or regular, you know, house lamps. For example, like what, what, uh, what's used lighting me here, just regular house lights. To give you an example, so right here I have a sheet of white paper. Now, our eyes are smart enough to figure out that when we look at this white paper in this lighting situation, we can figure out that, hey, this is white. You know, if I have it outside, I look at it in sunlight, it's white. If I look at it in shade, it's white. We're, our eyes can adjust and figure that out. But our camera is not as smart as our eyes, so we have to help it along in figuring out the proper white balance to get your images straight, or at least the proper color cast. So every DSLR, they have basic presets for white balance, which are, I have written down here, um, incandescent, fluorescent, sunlight, flash, cloudy, shade, and Kelvin. Kelvin's where you can dial in the uh, actual temperature uh, manually. And also you have custom white balance. So essentially what you're doing is, you know, you, you're inside a house and you notice that they have incandescent lights, then you wanna set your white balance to, uh, and of course it's auto you want to set your white balance to incandescent so it'll help your camera uh, correct for the yellow cast that incandescent lights, um, incandescent lights uh, burn. Sorry. Um, and if, you know, if you're at a gym, let's say at a high school or some, some school, most, mostly uh, schools use fluorescent lights. So you want to set your lights to fluorescent or else you can have like a green cast to your images because of the, the fluorescent lighting so anyway if you use auto it's it's probably gonna get it close but it's not gonna it's not gonna be great now if you shoot in raw which I recommend you do um, but if you do decide to shoot in raw then white balance is easily correctable in post-processing for still images but if you happen to be a JPEG shooter or if you shoot video then you can't correct white balances easily in post without messing up your images a little bit so it's really important to get your white balance straight before you start shooting for video or if you shoot jpeg so for example in this shot here i did a custom white balance before i started rolling this video um i'll go ahead right now and show you what it would look like if i set my camera to auto okay so here it is in auto white balance as you can see there's kind of like this orange tint across the whole image um, because it can't you, because the camera can't quite figure out the type of lighting that uh, is being cast in the scene, so it's doing its best and this is what it what it's getting. So let me put it back to my custom white balance. Okay, now it's back to a custom white balance. So what you need so essentially uh, some of the things that I found and I, I can't go in too much detail on everything because in the video will just run too long. Um, but essentially, when I'm outdoors, I just use auto white balance. I shoot in raw anyway, so uh, I can easily tweak my white balance later in post-processing, so I don't worry about it too much. But when I do have time, I always, even if I'm shooting in raw, I will take the time to um, do a custom white balance. So what you need to do to do a custom white balance is you need a standard gray card. So here's my gray card. I, I carry it with me in my bag all the time. Um, I drew a little X in the middle here because to help my camera focus. Sometimes it can't focus because there's any contrast on the card. Um, but anyway, so this is an 18% gray card. So it's it's a neutral color. Basically, you for Nikon shooters and as well as Canon and all the other brands, you're going to have to read your manual on how to set a specific um, custom white balance. I'll show you how to do it on the Nikon side but I'm sure Canon and Pentax and Sony and all the other brands are very similar. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're telling your camera, hey, 
this is the neutral color. Um, this is this is neutral gray, so you need to adjust all the colors around in the scene to this color. So what you want to do is you want to take your gray card and put it in the same light as you're shooting your subject and take a picture of that card with your camera and then basically tell your camera, point your camera to this picture and say, hey, this is neutral gray in this light so you know how to adjust all the other colors. So for example, right here, I have my camera. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of my uh, microphone right here. I'm gonna use, because right now we're in incandescent light, so you figure I'd use incandescent uh, white balance. So I'm gonna set my white balance to incandescent. It's the picture of the light bulb. Take a picture of the microphone here. And as you can see, it's it's got an orange tint to it. Now, I'm gonna set a custom white balance. So basically what I do is I'm gonna go to press my white balance button, rotate my dial until it says pre on the Nikon side. Canon's probably just the same, but you still need to look at your manual. Until it says pre, and then I'm going to focus I'm going to take my gray card, put it in the same light as my uh, picture that I'm taking. I'm going to hold down the white balance button until it starts flashing. It starts flashing pre at the top. And then I'm going to take a picture of my gray card. I'm going to fill the frame as much as possible. Then if I take a good picture, it'll say good on top. If you missed it, it'll say no good. Then you're just going to have to do it again. So that said good. So now I have a custom white balance. I told my camera, hey, this is neutral gray in this light. Now I'm going to take a picture of the microphone again in uh, using my custom white balance. And there you go. And the colors look right and it's, and it's fine. So that's how you take a custom white balance using a Nikon camera. So that's how you can use a custom white balance. Now, if you don't have a gray card handy with you or you don't have one in your bag, you can actually just use a white sheet of paper and it gets really close. And just use this as your gray card and take a picture of this in the same light you're planning to take uh, photos in and your pictures should come out a lot better. Now, on the Nikon cameras, I know you can set, I think, up to five presets. So let's say you're at a party, right? Because each and and you go to different rooms and there's light, the light is different in each room. So you can actually take a custom white balance in each room. If you just kind of remember in your head, okay, white balance one is the living room, white balance two is the kitchen or, you know, whatever. And you, I think you can take five. You take five custom pictures with your gray card in the light. And then as you move room, just change your change the preset to one, two, three, or four, or five, and then your white balance will shift. Because not all incandescent bulbs burn the same color temperature. So if you buy one bulb and it's burning, let's say at, I don't know, uh, whatever color temperature it's burning at, and then the, you buy some other bulb from another manufacturer, different brand, it could be burning a little bit hotter, a little bit lighter, so then the light's gonna be mixed. So um, that's where a custom white balance really uh, comes in handy. Now, like I said, if you shoot in raw, then it's much more easily correctable. In raw, what I would do, sometimes I'll bring this along. This is uh, a small gray card. It's got a pure black, a neutral gray, 18% gray, and a pure white. So you just put this in, at, in any image that uh, you're gonna take in the same light, just put it aside take a sample shot and then you can use the eyedropper in Lightroom or in whatever raw engine you're using and sample this color as your neutral gray and it'll it should correct your white balance so this also helps and then that and you don't have to take a bunch you just really need to take one in the same light now if the lighting changes then you're gonna need to take another card to get it to get it right and and that is white balance in a nutshell so I hope that helps